Our community was begun in 1812 by Bishop Flaget, the first bishop in, in Bardstown. And we follow the rule of St. Vincent de Paul, which is really living the gospel, um, particularly Matthew 25, uh, feeding the hungry, giving home to homeless, teaching. Nazareth Academy was begun in 1814. There were probably, at the peak, maybe 350 girls who boarded here and were educated here. And in 1920, we added a college to the academy, um, giving girls and, and young women an opportunity for education. In 1966, to focus on the, on the college, we closed the academy. But we also have a college in Louisville, Catherine Spalding College, and now Spalding University. So we closed the college out here and merged it with the one in Louisville in 1971. So we had two residence halls that were empty, practically new, and we wanted to continue to serve the community. So our leadership talked with leadership in the area, with civic leaders, church leaders, business people, and what is the need in the area? What's the greatest need? Over and over, it was housing for elderly people, particularly poor people. The sisters had this innovative idea back in the 1970s to turn the, these buildings into housing for seniors and disabled people. Uh, we applied to HUD to convert the co college dormitories into apartments and they subsidized the rent. So people in villages one, they pay what they can. That was so successful that we then turned what had been the auditorium, the library, into apartments. That also has been very successful. I have been a resident here for a little over two years and absolutely love it. There are people from all over, I mean, you know, that live here and I've met and enjoy their company too. <laughs> The Sisters of Charity have opened up their arms to us. They welcome us. They want us here. And we enjoy being here. Uh, the residents can use the grounds. They can come to meals with us if they choose, uh, worship with us in church. The sense of peace, the sense of beauty, the sense of being close to nature, it just kind of makes you relax and take a deep breath and to realize, oh, this is some place, you know, I want to be. People are drawn to the beautiful campus. I don't know of any other property um, owned by an order of sisters that has residents living on their property. You meet people in all stages of their life, and you meet people who are really happy to have others to relate to there and to have someone, I'm somebody new, they could sit and tell their stories too. And I really enjoyed that. New friends, new beginnings, new experiences. I've got so many dear friends out here, and I think that's made it even better. This building just had its 40th anniversary, and the other village, 30th year. So we had, a couple of weeks ago, quite a celebration. We rolled out the red carpet, and we invited our residents to come. We had food, we had entertainment, and I think all the residents enjoyed themselves. It's wonderful. They're always thinking about us. Someone told us one time she'd like to get a baby goat. And we kind of said, no, that I don't think would work too well. I think maybe she was teasing, but I'm not real sure. My main ministry is the um, volunteer ministry program. And it is a program where we invite people from 18 to 80 and above of all religions to join us in mission in helping and serving other people. The men and women from our village who sign up and they're able to go with us. And if the funding is not there, we give a part scholarship to enable them to go. And it transforms our lives also. They have all of this and they can take part in whatever they want and skip the other. I think in a sense, there's a sense of freedom.
We have a good thing going on here at Nazareth between the villages and, and the sisters and our associates, and I think it's wonderful. Our buildings are used as best we can for the service of other people, trying to make life better for all our citizens. I see it as a real mission, providing a home. And not only that, trying to provide uh, a respect and a love. People who otherwise might not have a home do have a home. Living the gospel, loving people, uh, trying to make life better for everybody, it's, that's our mission, that's what we do here.